situated some five kilometres southwest of Monaghan Town, where an active and vibrant rural community gathered to worship and celebrate. This is a history of the ancient graveyard. We start the whole way back in the early 1500s. This was the very first burial, as we know that for a long time ago. The masses were held in St Michael's Church, Rock Wallace. The bishop would say the masses, but if he was unavailable, the priest would say the mass and burial. The last and final burial was in 1903. A man called Oran O'Donoghue. This marked the end. In the week leading up to communion, the children learn about the sacrament of reconciliation. The priest comes in to make sure the children are ready for the ceremony. On the day, the children wear a nice outfit to make their communion. Then many children will celebrate with their families. In Adahi Church, there has been many weddings. The priest says the ceremony and the wedding parties get celebrate with them after the ceremony. Our Hall was built in 1975 to 1977 by 25 to 30 volunteers and cost £25,000. The extension was added to the community centre in 2003 and Mary McAleese came to unveil the new extension. Ardai Hall has lots of events happening such as sports like bowls, running, badminton, basketball and tug of war. There is many clubs including Faroga ICA, A Club, and Koi Club. In 2004, Ardahi entered the Tidy Towns competition. A group was set up called the Green Committee to help enhance the area of Ardahi. Lots of people have parties in the community centre because you can do lots of fun activities and there is so much room to play. St Michael's NS was first established in 1933, following the amalgamation of two schools within the locality Liz Leitrim NS and Anaglof NS. The school was first built on a site which was acquired from the Clark family Rock Wallace. Much of the stone used for the building came from the rock field, which was in close proximity to the school. school there has been many principals over the years. The first principal was Master Mooney. The current principal is Mr Grundy. The teach, teach, teaching staff over the years consistent are Miss Neyland, Miss Bra Braggin, Miss Curran who were some of the very first teachers to ever teach this in the school. Then came Miss Conley, Miss McAdam, Miss Donnelly and Master Lois. Shortly after came Miss Murphy, Miss Conley and Miss Trainer. The current teachers are the principal Mr Grundy and the deputy principal Miss King and Mrs Ferguson. School was painted yellow from 2022 to 1933. In 2022, the outside of the school was painted white and the windows still a purple of colour. And the following year, in 2023, the inside of the school was also painted and it was painted by Ryan and Ben's dad.
was gifted the forge in Ardahi. Paddy got gifted the forge because he gave food to the old man that had no money. And when he died, he gave the forge to Paddy Smith. And the forge was used for a lot of years, making horseshoes. And then when Paddy Smith got older, cars were invented and horses weren't used anymore. The forge was built in 1898. It is located in Ardahi Cross. Paddy Smith was the only blacksmith and highly skilled in his art, using tools fashioned by his own hand. He applied himself to the task with dexterity and good humour. There was never heard tell of a dissatisfied customer. Indeed, the busy ding dong of his anvil hung in the air like the song of a lark, a summer's day, and arrival the bell of the nearby church. The Ford closed in 1960. All the tools that Paddy used are in the County Museum. Horseshoes are available in a wide variety of materials and styles, developed for different types of horses and for the work they do. The end.